Welcome. 89 degrees at 6 o'clock in Baltimore. WBAL-TV News, good evening. I'm Phil Hayes. Our top story, allegations of election fraud have surfaced in Logan County. The Secretary of State's office reportedly looked into allegations centered on the city of Logan's Democratic mayoral primary in March. Incumbent Mayor Naledi defeated two opponents in that runoff. A challenger, Guy Miller, accuses Naledi of being at a polling place and interacting with voters, this according to documents obtained by the Charleston Gazette Mail. State law prohibits electioneering within 300 feet of a polling place. Several people are homeless in Ellenburg after fire ripped through an apartment complex. Firefighters responded to an apartment building around midnight last night and multiple departments were called in. By the time crews arrived on scene, flames were already showing out the back of the structure. Crews say they were able to knock down the fire fairly quickly, but the building, which houses two apartments downstairs and one upstairs, suffered extensive damage. The oil company Shell says it plans to build a cracker that will process the ethane from Marcella Shell natural gas in the Appalachian region, but has not yet decided where to build it. A cracker breaks down large molecules from oil and natural gas into smaller ones that are used to manufacture chemicals. The Houston-based company said building such a facility would provide a local outlet for ethane, which is a byproduct in the natural gas drilling and fracking process. An outreach program for veterans returning from the Iraq War could soon be expanded to all 50 states. Congressman Peter Welch will hold a news conference Tuesday in Bennington to outline the provisions of the legislation, which he is introducing along with Republican Representative Chris Gibson. Welch says the bill, if approved, would implement Maryland's current outreach program nationwide. The press conference will be held tomorrow at noon at the Veterans Outreach Family Resource Center on North Street in Bennington. The federal government needs to do more to fight prescription drug abuse. That's according to New York Senator Charles Schumer. Schumer says the abuse of prescription narcotics is reaching levels not seen since the crack epidemic of the 1980s and early 1990s. The New York Democrat is pushing legislation to address overprescribing of the drugs. The legislation would require doctors to participate in specialized training to prescribe Oxycontin, Vicodin, and other opiate-based narcotics. The training is designed to help doctors better identify patients vulnerable to addiction. The action was prompted by an incident in Long Island last week where a person walked into a neighborhood drugstore and shot four people to death before leaving with a backpack full of pills. Tackling the next big global health crisis, diabetes. That's the goal of a major conference in San Diego going on this week. Worldwide, the number of people living with the disease has doubled since 1980 to 347 million today and the flood has not yet peaked because a tidal wave of children with diabetes is coming. When it comes to the major spike in the number of people living with diabetes, a study says much of the increase is due to aging populations since diabetes typically hits in middle age, but rising obesity rates are also to blame. The battle for the Division I baseball title will resume tomorrow evening as Florida will battle defending champ South Carolina for the title. The SEC Titans have never met in the College World Series, and the Gamecocks took two out of three from the, Ga from the Gators earlier this year. And they say this should be one fun evening of baseball. Finally this evening, we've all heard of solar-powered cars, but what about solar-powered planes? That's exactly what was on display at the 2011 Paris Air Show. The Solar Impulse, a prototype aircraft powered only by the sun, was one of the main attractions. It's only a single seater and is able to fly during the day or night. Today, the plane flew for 20 minutes in front of large crowds at the air show. The Solar Impulse is powered by the sun through 10,000 solar cells which cover its wingspan. If I may, on a more personal note, proffer a positive thought for the day. I can do and be anything my mind believes can be done. For those of you watching this demo reel, 
being a success in television is my goal, and I will get there. Be sure to join us on Twitter and Facebook, and check back for more news updates throughout the evening. For WBAL Evening News, I'm Phil Hayes.